Yo, what's up, people? Matty D here, Ben the Black, helping achieve emotional and physical well being. And as I say this, I'm gonna do this eventually on another site, help you achieve financial well being too. Here today, here today with the video on da -da -da, what is parental alienation syndrome? Or yeah, so but I came across this, and by the way, I hope you like my new hat. Uh, I'm a Leo. Boom, boom. We go. Leo season coming is upon this month. So I hope you like it. If you don't, that's too bad. I like it anyway. So anyway, so. Parental alienation syndrome, and I wanted, to, as I was doing some of my keyword research, uh, you know, to post new content for you guys, for my low subscribers, I appreciate you, I love you. Um, I came across this, have never heard of this 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 syndrome term before, and uh, you know, it, inter it fascinated me, and, and I have an article up right now. I'm not at my usual place. I would where I could. Um, have two screens and look it over or at least do screencasts. I want to do a screencast this time. I want to do an actual like face-to-face -face video. As usual, I'll post a, the, the link for the video is in the in the description below. So you'll see that. So apparently what I remember this before before I look right into the screen to show you, uh, this is a term that was coined by a, a psychologist or doctor back in the 80s, 85, do believe it all. But I'm about to fact check myself right now. Guy, guy by uh, Gardner. And if you think about the term, um, I'm trying to remember it based off of, I guess, parents alienating themselves from you and you have a syndrome about it. The really bad is bad thing. I kind of read over it briefly, but I wanted to make this video for those of you, you know, some of you, a lot of you respond to my video about, you know, um, six signs of a toxic, of a toxic mother. That link, the link to that video is in the description and may come up here in the video at some point. Dad's got over 10,000 views. A lot of people are resonating with that, not so much on the dad stuff, but um, with the with the mom stuff. And this is something, like I said, I wanted to bring about because there are some of you who watch this who may not realize that you've been dealing with, you know, parental alienation syndrome. Or for those of you who have, you may have experienced it, dealing with it, and don't know of a solution, what to do. And I'll give you a solution in a little bit after I read more into this. I want to stamp a, stamp a walk around. Aggressing here, because um, I want to help people. The, the whole point of this channel is to help the people who are, you know, having issues with mom or dad or both. Because it having pr mom issues, dad issues, unresolved emotional hurt from your parents sucks, and it follows you everywhere you go. So, parental alienation syndrome is off Wikipedia. Is a term coined by child psycho psychiatrist Richard Gardner. For some reason, I feel like that's like a guy who. Um, it was like, sounds like a guy uh, it was a, for a famous actor. But anyway, so you can see here, I'm looking at it. So, um, so in, in, it says in, in, um, in introduced in his 1985 paper, describe a suite, suite of distinctive behaviors he argued were shown by children who have been psych psychologically manipulated and showing unwarranted fear, disrespect, or hostility towards a parent and or other family members, typically by the other parent and during child custody disputes. Um, parent, parental alien, alien oh gosh, parental alienation syndrome is not recognized as, as a disorder by the medical legal communities and Gardner's theory and, and related research have been extensively criticized by legal and mental health scholars for lacking scientific validity and reliability. However, the separate but related concept of parental alienation, the estrangement of a child from a parent, is recognized as, as a dynamic in some divorcing families, okay? Carl says here, the admissibility of PASS, parental alienation syndrome, um, has been rejected by an expert review panel in the Court of, in the court of Appeal, England, Wales, United Kingdom, and Canada's Department of Justice remains against its use. PASS has been mentioned in some family court cases in the United States. Gardner portrayed PASS as well accepted by the judiciary in having set a variety of precedents. But legal analysis of the actual case indicates that as, a, that as of 2006, this claim was incorrect. So this is our article. I'm not gonna go all all into it. Um, well, actually, let's look over. Let me read over the characteristics. Um, like I said, the link for this will be in the description below. Read over and see if this applies to you, resonates with you in any such form or fashion. Um, Garden described past as a pre as a preoccupation by the child with criticism and depreciation. Depreciate. I can't read today. Deprecation, deprecation of a parent. Gardner say that pass occurs when, in a context of child custody disputes, one parent deliberately or unconsciously attempts to alienate a child from the other parent. That kind of happens. I will agree with you. I will agree with that. When it comes to divorce, some parents, 
And typically, I've, what I've heard this from is from mothers do this. My mom did it, did this to my dad, and she did this with everyone else. They'll try, they'll try and take control of the child and either lie and fill their heads with lies about who the who about who the parent is, or they will try to alienate you from your parent. And that shit's not right because as you're growing up, if the divorce happens when you're like, you know, five, six, seven, ten years old, you don't know what's going on until you get older and you look back and you realize, what the fuck? Why was I cut off from my father or my mother? It's, it's jacked up. It's not right. So I can see that happen. That does happen. It happened with my mom and my sister. I mean, my sister growing up, my, well, my mother who would purposely find ways or like my dad couldn't, if my dad wasn't able to see us, she'd, she'd be so quick to be like, fine, Don, I'll have, I'll have, I'll have the kids stay with someone else. Like she was real quick to cut, cut us off from him. And that's fucked up because after her dad wouldn't be there, but my mom being the selfish woman she is, fucked it up anyways. So, um, according to Gardner, past is characterized by a cluster of eight symptoms that appear in the child. These include a campaign of, oh my God. Degnegration and hate and hatred against the targeted parent, weak, absurd, or frivolous rationalizations for this deprecation and hatred, lack of the usual ambivalence about the targeted parent, strong assertions that the, that the decision to reject the parent is theirs alone, parentheses, the quote, independent thinker phenomenon, end quote, parentheses, uh, end parentheses, reflects the support of the favored parent in the conflict, lack of guilt over the treatment of the alienated parent, use of borrowed scenarios and phrases from the alienating parent and the de- oh, God, I can't read this word today. The denigration, not just of the target parent, but also to that parent's extended family and friends. Huh. Uh, despite frequent citations of these factors in scientific literature, quote, the value ascribed to these factors has not been explored with professionals in the field, end quote. I'm a, if there's a lot to this. Wikipedia can be a great place, but um, like I said, if my thing is this, people, if you if you if this resonates with you or if you feel like you have, you know, dealt through this or going through it, reach out to me. Let me know. Shoot me an email, text. All my information is, is like I said is in the is in the description below. I'll coach you on this. I'll work with you. Um, really, end of the day, feel um, I got a book, a, a good book to read is by Feelings Drive Behavior. My coach wrote that. And we have unresolved emotions that drives behavior, and this shit's fucked up, you know, based on what I read so far. And if you're trying to work through your emotions with your friends, I mean, with, with your with your mom or dad, you simply have to breathe and feel them out, breathe love into it, and it'll go away. I can coach you on this and work with you on it because it, it helps have some guided practice. I can teach it to you through video, but it helps to have someone there because some of these emotions don't, if you think about it, we train ourselves to only experience some emotions in certain situations, but we don't unconsciously. So, um, what the fuck is that? The dog is getting downstairs. But anyways, um, with that being said, um, you know, that's how, if you're going to work through any emotional, any emotion, um, emotional hurt, whether it be from breakups, trauma, PTSD, stuff from your parents, you simply just have to get, become present with the emotion and breathe in, inhale long, exhale through your mouth, throughout your mouth, inhale through your nose, out, exhale through your mouth. And just feel the emotion. It's all you got to do. Um, and, you know, once you've done that, there's more to work through, but it helps to have a coach. I'm a life coach. I'm here to help you out to work through that because there's other areas in your life that you will experience emotion. Things will come up that you're not aware of. So hopefully it all makes sense. I'm kind of going on. But parental alienation syndrome, um, if you have experience this, think you have, or you don't realize now you have, or you're going through it, reach out to me. Um, as usual, for those of you who were watching this, comment, comment, comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Talk to me. Do you disagree? Do you agree? Say something, because guys, this, this isn't about me. This channel is about you, helping you out, and helping me produce content for you all that you resonate with, that you want to see more of, that you want to listen to or watch, and help you. I'm here to help. So, um, hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're brand new. Share this video if you feel someone will get bad from this. As usual, comment below. I love you all. Get in the black. Peace.